talk about bodies, and I will be brutally honest in the section. Is it any week? Because the series was provocatively long, and why so many people compare bodies in dark. And is it worth this comparison? That can't be. I managed to solve the mystery by the episode 6. I think some people might not figure out the solution until the series ends because it's quite complex. Complete the video till the end so that you know all my feelings and my thoughts about it. And how much is my rating for the series from 10? For those who are new to my channel, let me introduce myself as Alana, one of the cinema fans. Now, allow me to provide you with a brief overview of the storyline. At 6 a.m. on the 10th of September, a man was murdered on Long Harvest Lane. There's not one hit on any database. No DNA on record, no prints. What's the story? The tale of bodies commences with Detective Surgeon Hassan stumbling upon a man unclothed in a pathway. The story then transports us back to 1941 amidst the bombings of London by Germany. It is there that D.S. Whiteman discovers the body, but this time 80 years earlier. Taking us further back to 1890, Detective Inspector Hillinghead also encounters the same corpse within the confines of the alley. As each detective embarks on unraveling this murder, their lives and fates become intertwined in ways they could never have anticipated. D.I. Hillinghead, 1890. D.S. Whiteman, 1941. There's been three murders on Long Harvest Lane, decades apart. The characters? Throughout the story, there are moments that can feel a bit chaotic making you feel like you're still trying to process and understand what you've witnessed in one time period before moving on to the next. It can be quite difficult to develop a connection with the majority of our detectives. We have characters like Hillinghead from 1890 Whiteman, from 1941 Hassan, from 2023, and Maplewood from 2053. Each of them has their subplots that are not directly related to the murder case which adds an intriguing aspect to the story. However, not all of their stories are equally captivating. What really grabs my attention is when they unveil details about the victim's identity and the origins of the mystery, which intriguingly come from the year 2053. This revelation happens on in the series, and it personally made me less interested in both the present and past timelines, as I eagerly awaited more answers from the future. Unfortunately, this shift in focus somewhat diminishes around 34% of the story's significance, making it feel less compelling to invest my attention in. I wanted to share my story with you. I started my channel in early 2023 because I love talking about and reviewing movies and series. YouTube seemed like the perfect platform for me to express myself, as there are people who share my interest in reviewing movies. However, I have been feeling discouraged because I haven't received enough support. I have made the decision that if I don't reach 1,000 subscribers within a month, I will stop uploading videos. I have until the end of November to reach this goal, so please help me continue on this journey. Bodies are dark. 1. Attention to detail. Dark is a masterpiece when it comes to paying attention to the details. From the design sets, to the use of color symbolism this series goes above, and beyond to create a captivating and immersive world. Each frame is meticulously crafted, hiding hints and clues throughout. When it comes to bodies, I had expectations of finding clues. While there are some hints, I was hoping for an abundance of them. Two, the complexity. The complexity of dark narrative has sparked countless fan theories and discussions. Viewers have taken to online forums and social media platforms to dissect every detail, share their interpretations, and speculate about what lies ahead. The series has fostered a passionate community of fans who eagerly engage in debates and analysis, further enhancing the immersive experience of Dark. When it comes to the show Bodies, it's quite challenging to achieve the level of fame that Dark has attained. While we can speculate about theories surrounding the series, we can't quite capture the profound depth and philosophical exploration found in Dark. 3. Philosophical Concepts Dark exploration of philosophical concepts adds a layer of depth to the series, elevating it beyond a mere sci-fi thriller. It invites viewers to question their own beliefs and ponder the nature of fate, leaving a lasting impact long after the credits roll. 
Is it any week? One, the series is too long. I think the series is too long because each episode jumps to times in the storytelling. However, in the episode, most of the narrative focuses on the story set in 1890. While this provides a lot of detail and explanation, it feels like certain parts of the story unnecessarily repeat ideas. Some aspects of the story reinforce relationships. I believe these are mostly unnecessary since the story already does a job establishing feelings, romances, emotional complications, and attractions. Going back to parts that are well-established just feels repetitive and redundant. Two, the complexity. The initial four episodes are really important. Demand concentration as there's a lot going on. If you're not fully engaged, you might overlook plot details. Furthermore, the show switches between time periods, which can potentially puzzle viewers more. This intricacy could be overwhelming for individuals. Might seem like an excessive approach to storytelling. I think that the most beautiful part when watching a movie is discussing the topic with other people. So tell me what you think about. What you like about the movie and what you hate about the movie and how much you give the film out of 10. I will tell you in my rate at the end of the video. Is it any good? One, visual aesthetics. I really appreciate the way different time periods are visually represented. Each period has its style of filming. For instance, in the 1890s timeline, there is a presence of film grain and the camera work gives a stable impression avoiding any shakiness. The color palette in this timeline leans towards tones with hints of orange creating an atmosphere. During scenes, minimal lighting is employed to add a touch of intrigue. In contrast, the 2053 timeline embraces colors with an overlay and has a more digital appearance and feel. The visuals display creativity and consistency, allowing each part of the story to possess its distinct visual identity. Furthermore, there are changes in wardrobe and technology while the set and costume designs are truly spectacular. They effectively transform locations into replicas of each other while showcasing signs of time passing by. Two, the acting. The performances in the show effectively avoid repetition by showcasing multiple great actors who each portray their respective era with distinct mannerisms and characteristics. The four detective inspectors played by Kyle Soler, Jacob Fortune Boyd, Amaka Okafor, and Shiraz are crucial to the storyline, with no single character dominating the narrative. Despite being separated by time, their actions complement each other, creating a cohesive and interconnected dynamic, rather than operating independently or in parallel. What is my rate? I think this series gave me a good story, a well-mitted crime, and presented some wonderful characters. So my rating for the series is 7 out of 10. Do not forget to tell me your rating out of 10. And also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.